private jet used to secretly move Hudu Yunusa Ari, the embattled residential electoral commissioner in Adamawa State, out of Yola, the state capital, after he illegally declared Aisha Binani the hero candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC as governor elect, is owned by the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Dati Baba Made. Sa reporters as gathered. The Adamawa governorship supplementary election was conducted on Saturday following the declaration of the March 18 poll as inconclusive over alleged irregularities. While the results from the supplementary election were yet to be completely announced, Yunusa Hari declared Binani as the winner. Aine subsequently declared the announcement null and void and summoned the wreck to its headquarters in Abuja. So our reporters recently reported how Yunusa Ari was flown to Abuja from Yola immediately after announcing Binani as the winner of the election. He was flown out of Yola in the private jet with registration number NG5NIKO at exactly 12.58 p.m last sunday shortly after he made the announcement and touched down in abuja at exactly 1 38 pm after flying for 40 minutes further investigations by sarah reporters revealed that the raytheon orca s800 xp as based research and data services limited as its registered owner based research and data services Limited is owned by Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, the Labour Party vice presidential candidate in the 2023 elections. Okay. The jet was manufactured in 2001 by Raytheon Aircraft Company. In 2022, the aircraft, which was registered in the United States as N927AR and operated by MC Avio LLC. Boca Raton FL was sold to Baba Med. The registration code 5NIKO was subsequently assigned to the aircraft after it was acquired by the Labour Party vice presidential candidate on September 20, 2022. Speaking to Sarah reporters, an aviation source confirmed that the Baba Med as the owner of the private jet. He added that the aircraft was used by Labour Party chieftains, including his presidential candidate, Peter Obi, and his wife, Margaret, during election hearing. Sarah reporters also gathered that the Raytheon Orca 800 SP was the private jet Obi claimed he hired to fly an elderly man whose flight from Asaba to Abuja was cancelled and rescheduled. The Labour Party presidential candidate was recently seen in a viral video seeking a 50, a 95-year-old man whose flight to Abuja was cancelled to a private jet. Unknown to many, Obi was travelling in the same private jet 5N Eco owned by Dati to the same Abuja. It wasn't that the jet was arranged specifically for the man. He only joined Obi on the flight to Abuja. The same jet 5N IKO was used to move the Anambra wreck, though it was chartered for the man. It's owned by no other person but Dati Baba made. The Labour Party chieftains are aware of this. Dati used that same jet throughout the campaign period, moving from one state to the other. So I'm surprised that the same Labour Party supporters are claiming the jet belongs to an APC member, the source said. <laughs> mm, okay. So, what is a shure trying to tell us here? What it is saying? Omo Yele Shure has really focused his against focus against Peter Obi and his running mates. The early shure, earlier Shure understand that these two gentlemen are the problem, are not the problem of Nigeria, but better for him. You can't even win a war by fighting the wrong enemy. The one we saw Tinubu inside somewhere in Guinea is owned by him also. Mungo Park journalism. My greatest happiness is that Shiwore has become a total failure politically. Yes, they wanted him to rig the election for Liberal Party Abi. Strange journalism. In Nigeria, under APC, objective and constructive journalism died. May God bless Baba Ahmed. 
dirty with more private jets. Imagine and the vice presidential candidate will go on air criticizing everything and forming his sins. One will ask the security accompany him, what is it used for? It's now the private jet that is the problem. Common sense indeed is not even common. You leave the substance and chase the shadows. Why not report the insecurity, the increase in prices of goods and services? That is his business. He can hire it out if he wishes. It was chartered for Deb or for the man. What is? So that he also owns a private jet and still needs more. And that is why the desperation and its integration of the judiciary to bypass the constitution and declare his boss and him the winners of an election, the image as third position. <laughs> okay. So let DSS go and arrest Dangote for selling his sugar to all kidnappers in Nigeria. I've been seeing say you get sense, Walai, Bubu, uh, Babu says. Let's go. Sahara reporters versus obedience. One, two, three, go. They don't want to use Tinubu's private jet so that the one we that no one will understand what Buari is up to. If Sahara reporters could identify the owner of the private jet used to move to INEC wreck, then Sahara reporters knows the whereabouts of the wreck. Sahara reporters should also say INEC, DSS, and police where. The man is because I next said they don't even know his whereabouts. And so you will soon tell us that the microphone used to declare Adamawa APC governorship candidate was owned by Labour Party. They have settled that. <laughs> it is his own, it is his own, and it is for renting. That he has been bought over. <laughs> Got a big media. And then tissue paper journalists. Make una go sit down. Then no, they rent private jets. If everyone should own a private jet, then let it be inscribed in their name. Then, of course, if it is for commercial use and they will pay, <laughs> they will pay. It is for commercial use. She will write on it again. Our plan was to join, or his plan was to join the party, I guess. So I can't lose my. Jets for commercial purpose, where is Tinubu? Give us an exclusive on his whereabouts. You mean he can't even rent his private jets or what? This man is just being pained that he was relegated to the least to the last position during election, presidential election, and tribalism has been eating him up. Let Shawore go and hang himself because what God is about to do will shock. The doubters. So guys, let us say your opinion and have your take on this.